it was a, a frightening position to be in for a would-be Shakespearean actor who doesn't do anything. Sure, I got these awards all over the situation, all over the place, but I have not been to Stratford. So I went to Stratford. Happenstance came along right just then when Richard walked through that door. Wow. You went for a small Bang. Wow. I had a choice. I could have kept my mouth shut. I could have said, I want to go for your last season. And he said, yeah. So that's when I just held my nose and jumped in. I had to do it. I had to know what it was like or else I'd be sitting here today talking to you not knowing what it's like. Sometimes we have to take that risk to understand what you're capable of. What, 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 what's in here? What, what do you got? What's in here? What do you got? The risk is it paramount to life. You must know what's inside your heart, what's inside your brain to uh, be part of this business. You can't just go willy-nilly and memorize some words and say them in front of the camera or on the stage. You have to go in there with a sense of, who am I talking to? Am I talking to myself? Yes. You're talking to yourself, partially. But these words are coming out of your mouth into somebody else's ear. And you're, um, you're looking for that. You're saying, I have to see how far I can go. I have to see how far I can go down the well. I have to see that turns up as a strength in your acting. That turns up, for me, in the strength of your presence on screen, because that guy is there. And I say that to not recognize, but notice the other actors who say, no, I'll learn my lines, I'll turn up, and I'll see if I can get another press interview. They're not there. And when they appear on screen, they may look pretty and they may have the right nose or you know, the right hair, but they're not there. No. And when I see you on screen, you're there. And that makes me watch and that makes me interested in your storytelling. So your dance with your own pain, fear, depression, strength, for me is part of what turns up when I watch Graham on screen. Yeah. And I'm not saying that to flatter you, I'm trying to understand why some people, when they tell a story, I want to listen. Other people, when they tell a story, I got no interest in listening. And I'm trying to understand where, what kind of artist takes me to that place where I can't stop watching. Well, that's, I don't know, but it's, it's just in, in somebody. You got all of these things. You're, you're, you're designed deep down inside of us, past the skin and the deepest, darkest, quietest, smallest, tiniest molecule in our bodies. Inside that, somewhere you can't see, inside that are strings which vibrate, which determine what that cell is going to turn into. It's going to be the end of my finger or my thumb or whatever. But those strings are always vibrating. And that's what keeps you going. That's what generates the electricity that keeps you flowing. Because uh, you were made up, we're made up of all different parts of things from this fabulous world. A piece of dog hair, a leaf, uh, a tree, uh, a grain of sand, anything. It's whatever's sort of you see vanish before your eyes is still there. It comes back. See, the universe wastes nothing. I always say that. But we are all assembled as one thing. And some people are assembled variously. I always say there was 12 kinds of people on this planet. And uh, I don't know who they all are yet. But curiosity is a big thing. Curiosity <coughs> is what drives humanity along in its quest for uh, trying to stand on its hind legs. <laughs> and where it came from. And uh, our people know that the, the knowledge that is passed down to us will be released slowly, but not all at once. We'll have to, uh, it's like growing up. It's like being in the theater, your first play, you run home and you dance around. Yeah, I got, I got the role, I got the role, I got this. Well, now what am I gonna do? 
That's what I used to think. It's like, now what am I going to do? OK, I'll learn the lines. I'll learn the lines. Now what am I going to do? I know the lines. What am I going to do? You're stuck, you're stuck behind the page. You can't see through the, the sentences. To be free of that, you have to get through those words onto the stage and have the words behind you. Or no words. You have to be there. Let all of that stuff that you know inside you come through and out. And things that are behind you, pushing you along to uh, guide you. Guide your soul, guide your heart, guide your mind, guide your feet. Just, uh, and you can hope to yourself that you're not going to fail, but you're going to fail at some things, which is, so what? Do something else.